Now, we're kind of bitching a lot about machines here. Now, I don't want to kind of outrule it all together because, yeah. I mean, there are people out there who do want to get big muscles and things yeah, like that. Yeah, and I mean, that's fine, but you do need that kind of strong awareness of your body yeah. and a strong yeah, internal exactly. stabilizing system. Okay, so the next one is um, another piece of cardio equipment, which I hate, but I know a lot of people love, is the, um, the treadmill. Yeah, I said it, you know? <laughs> the treadmill, it really sucks. It, for one, I don't get, like, if you, if you want to run or walk, you know, go outside, you know, there's a whole world out there. The treadmill I don't like because um, you're not actually running, you're not actually using your feet the way they're meant to be used, you're not pushing your body along. Your, your feet are just kind of flopping along on the belt, you know, the belt is moving, you're not, you're trying, you're flopping along trying to keep up with it, so the, the kind of, the load place for your body is faulty, you know, so I mean, your ankles lose that support, then your knees kind of lose support, your hips weaken. You're just messing your body up, and I think the treadmill is one of the biggest um, causes of long-term injury in the gym. I'm not actually pushing myself along, you know. I'm just trying to keep up with this belt, you know. So, like I said, it's bad for your feet, it's bad for your knees. Get out and run outside. Okay, I know this one's going to be good because it's a pec deck. This thing here, it's for pecs. I don't even know how to adjust it. Okay. <laughs> it's good, I really feel my shoulders are stretching there. It's a good shoulder stretch. Um, but yet I can also understand why it would rip my shoulder straight out of the sockets. So here I go with my first pec deck. And um, I don't really understand what that's doing. I'm kind of squeezing my shoulders together. And I, I'm feeling this big kind of tension across here, but it's not really a push-up because I'm not using anything other than this muscle. So, I don't know, they say it's the pec deck, but then it can also be known as the shoulder terror because that's all I feel of really doing, putting a massive strain across here. And there isn't that much weight on there, but if I was to put double the weight, um, I don't know if I'd be lifting that with anything more than just my shoulder kind of ripping that out. So. This one is one of those isolation exercises that I definitely wouldn't recommend. I'd rather have someone doing 50 push-ups in a row or even working on just doing a dumbbell bench press. This one has no place. Okay, so here we have another classic gym um, machine called uh, the glute. Which loop we're going to work, we don't know. <laughs> but, um, okay, so again, you know, don't have to say it, the glutes are meant to be a kind of stabilizer and they're a prime mover. They're meant to work with everything else. They're not, they're not meant to be isolated. Um, there's a million better ways to tone your glutes if you're wanting to do that than the glute. I'm sure, I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure that's that I'm right. Okay, let's give it a shot. Um, um, I find it, it's kind of embarrassing working on this thing, you know, like... Yeah. Other than feeling like a bit of a twat using this machine, I just, I don't feel like doing anything, like it just feels like a, just a lame movement that we shouldn't be doing. legs it's time to be hard the only machine that'll get me strong in the legs is the leg extension with these with these movements of start and finish and if I put lots of emphasis on my quadriceps I'll have big ones like him oh here we go that's better okay so what I'm gonna do here is I feel kind of locked in and steady I'm just gonna grip these things and Hope for the best. Come up. So, what's happening here is I'm just really getting um, my quadriceps are being used, nothing else. As I, as I lift my feet up, I feel all the muscles in the quadriceps kind of come alive. And on the eccentric portion as well, they're still working to stabilize it. So, I'm not really using my hamstrings or my glutes to stabilize anything here. So, I'm just 
like in the other machines, I'm just floating. My hips are just up here. And my quadriceps the only muscle being used. So I'm pretty sure when I finish doing a thousand reps on this, I'll have huge, strong legs. But yet again, if I compare it to, let's say, a squat, where I'll do 10 squats and everything is used also to keep me stabilized and balanced, um, I'll get a, it's a good movement for me. Whereas this one being just the isolated quadricep movement does nothing to help me walk, does nothing to help me squat, nothing to help me jump. So uh, I'll just keep doing my thousand. I realize we're kind of really being biased um, and very anti-machine, you know, yeah. all machines. Yeah, because look, we're, we go more towards whole movements of using the whole body as yeah. one unit rather than just an isolated muscle group being used. And look, I think um, I think it's fair to be very anti-machine when it comes to exercise because if you look at the, um, a lot of statistics and stuff today's, today, um, there is a huge increase in back pain, joint problems and all these kinds of things. Mm. And it's because we're sitting down a lot. Mm. All these machines have a sitting down, so yeah. it's, not, it's not changing things. We need to kind of change and use You really, as Daryl mentioned before, one of the things mm. that I think I said too, like your hips, your hips are floating. Yeah. Your, your hips are just kind of up in the air. I can swivel my feet around and, and I can do whatever. Whereas in, when you're doing a, a strong movement, everything needs to be stable. Your yeah, inner, exactly. Because as we mentioned at the beginning, your, your inner unit needs to work. And also one of the things that I just realized is that every, every machine we went on has its own setting with degrees and buttons here and a, a lock here. And yeah, they, they might have a lot of different settings, but I don't really think each one is going to be unique for every individual. Saying that, when you do a squat, there are no locks or pins yeah. that you have to do. You, you, you just move. go through the movement. Within, you're stuck in the machine and you're restricted to something. And yeah, I guess in that point, like Jerry's a little bit shorter than I am. He's so, a little you know, bit taller than me. So, um, I mean, there, there's a very like classic, you know, thing yeah. that machines can't account for right there. You know, like I'll, in life, I'll squat and move differently than Jerry will because yeah. of like longer limbs. But in machines, we're kind of locked into moving the same way, so it's going to create more problems there. But. Yeah, so if you want to train and be hardcore and have a good, strong, functional body, stick with your machines and just uh, move and use your body how it's meant to be used. Yep. I'm Daryl. I'm Jerry. Jerry. This is Max Bread Live. See ya. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>